When the captain of motor yacht Shera Khan invited me, my wife and our two young children on board this converted Dutch training ship for an afternoon, I felt like Christmas had come early. Armed with my camera and drone, I joined this stunning classically styled super yacht while she was at anchor, preparing to receive guests for an upcoming charter. This beautiful vessel is so large that it wasn't practical for me to film every single compartment on board this super yacht. However, with over 20 million views on my channel and thousands of comments on my videos, I know what you, my subscribers, like to see on board vessels like this. So sit back and relax as I show you around some of the exquisite spaces, along with some behind the scenes footage aboard this outstanding charter super yacht. This is the first time I've ever started a yacht tour video on my channel from within a spa on board a luxury super yacht. But this is no ordinary vessel. Join me as I show you around the exceptional Shara Khan. If you haven't already, please don't forget to give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you stay tuned as later in the video, I'll share how I can assist you in arranging your perfect charter aboard this magnificent super yacht. But let's start this yacht tour by checking out some of the exterior spaces on board Shera Khan. Forward of the bridge, we have this fantastic area where you can sit down, relax and enjoy the sun with ample seating for several guests to come and enjoy what is a spectacular view. I mean, look at that. Check out this part of the French coastline. Absolutely stunning. There's so much to enjoy up here as well, whether you want to just relax in the pool, have a few drinks at the bar, which I'm going to show you in a second. But first, as we head past the bridge, let me just show you, look, we've got a control station over here on the port side and lots of storage over there. I won't open them up, but something that I know you're going to love is the fact that this lifeboat over here on the port side is one of the original lifeboats that is still in use. But as we head aft, as you can see, got a nice pool over here. When I first saw this, I thought you can just imagine being sat in here at night with a star-filled sky above you, enjoying a drink or two as you relax, enjoy the state-of-the-art sound system that the boat's got on board as well. As you can see, we've got lots of places where you can sit back, lay in the sun, enjoy the view, and enjoy the food and the amazing hospitality that you get on board this boat. I can't say enough how fantastic the crew on board this vessel are. I'm on board at the moment with my wife and two children. They've made us feel really, really welcome. Uh, the two kids are loving it on board, being entertained uh, by the fantastic crew. So a big thank you to them for keeping them entertained while I shoot this footage. As you see, we've got a dining area over here on the port side, another one over here on the starboard side, and of course, We've got the bar over here with a huge grill on it as well. You can just imagine the smell that will be given off by this thing as you're cooking up a really fantastic barbecue on here. And as we head aft, you can see we've got three wave runners on this boat as well. So you can get on board them and skim around the coastline enjoying that view. What a fantastic space to enjoy wherever it is in the world you happen to be on board this beautiful, beautiful vessel. Imagine yourself at this bar surrounded by friends and family, enjoying your favorite cocktails as the sun sets on the horizon. Then take a dip in the pool under a breathtaking starry night. During the day, there's no better place to be than in this pool, soaking in the stunning seascape. If you were to charter this yacht in the Mediterranean, which parts of the Med would you want to visit and why? Let me know in the comments below. One of my personal favourite features up here on this deck is the cleverly designed showers integrated into the funnels. It's such a unique and practical touch. As we walk along the starboard side of the vast sun deck towards the bridge, let's talk about some of the impressive technical features of Shera Khan. 
This 69.65 metre super yacht was originally built in 2005 and refitted in 2022, combining classic design with modern engineering. She's powered by a Caterpillar engine, allowing for a comfortable cruising speed of 11 knots and a maximum speed of 13 knots. With a range of up to 3,500 nautical miles, she's perfect for extended voyages. Of course, I will show you the engine room later on in the video, but let's just take a moment to appreciate the stunning view. So in case you are wondering where the tenders are stowed, as you can probably see, we've got a hatch over there on the port side, another one over there on the starboard side, and both of them open up to allow the tenders to be stowed away neatly in those two spaces. And of course, we've got the crane there amidships, so the tenders can be easily deployed and recovered as well at a moment's notice. Of course, it would be remiss of me not to show you inside the tender garage, giving you a glimpse of how everything is organized in this space. As a charter guest on board, you may not typically venture down here, but I always enjoy giving my subscribers a tour of these hidden areas. When the vessel was converted into a luxury explore yacht, this section was constructed from the deck up. Originally, when she served as a training ship, this part of the foredeck was exposed to the elements. For me, this area highlights the incredible transformation from a training ship to a luxury explore yacht. This is the original ground tackle from when the vessel was built. As we move towards the bow of the vessel, we pass an opening to our left, which the crew can use to access the forward areas of the vessel. Here on the foredeck of Shera Khan, we find a beautifully designed space that combines modern elegance with traditional nautical elements. The sleek stainless steel vents and polished surfaces create a sophisticated atmosphere, while the hammock stand invites you to relax and enjoy the stunning views. There are so many features dotted around which remind us of the vessel's rich history. This foredeck is a perfect example of how Shera Khan blends luxury and functionality, providing an ideal spot for both leisure and appreciation of the yacht's heritage. And just look at this outdoor seating area right in front of the spacious master cabin. Now let's make our way towards the stern of the boat via the spacious port side deck. With a four and seven year old on board, I had no concerns about their safety on this side deck. The high bulwarks not only offer excellent protection from the elements, but also ensure that little ones are safe and secure while enjoying the journey. This area is one of my personal favorite spots on Shera Khan, the alfresco dining area located on the canoe-shaped stern of the main deck. This elegant space is perfect for enjoying gourmet meals while taking in the breathtaking panoramic views, especially at this time of the day, as the sun descends, painting the sky with hues of amber and rose. This is where my wife and children enjoyed an unforgettable lunch with the amazing captain of Shera Khan. The meal expertly prepared by the outstanding onboard chef, graciously served by the wonderful crew, made the experience really special. These ceramic heaters installed in the overhead ensure that when Shera Khan ventures to Antarctica later this year, guests on board will stay cosy and warm, even in the harshest conditions. Next, let me show you around the impressive saloon. Welcome to the stunning atrium of Shera Khan Saloon, split over two levels. This elegant space serves as the heart of the yacht, offering both comfort and style. On the upper level, you can enjoy panoramic views through the large windows, while the lower level boasts a beautifully arranged dining area, perfect for hosting lavish meals. The open design and sophisticated decor make this atrium a true centerpiece of the vessel, combining luxury and a sense of grandeur. Shera Khan can accommodate up to 26 guests, but you might also charter the yacht with a smaller party. Don't be put off by the size of the dining table. The amazing crew can rearrange it to suit your needs. The captain mentioned that for more intimate gatherings, the crew can creatively transform the ends of the table into elegant set pieces making the space feel cosy and personalised for smaller groups. Now let's take a look at the sophisticated bar located on the upper level of the atrium. This elegant space is perfect for socialising and enjoying a drink with friends. The bar features a beautifully crafted wooden counter and unique 
hand-shaped stools, adding a touch of artistic flair. With a wide selection of spirits and a skilled bartender ready to mix your favourite cocktails, it's an ideal spot to unwind and enjoy the luxurious ambience of Shere Khan. After crafting your perfect cocktail at the bar, venture out to the alluring and spacious lounging area. Sink into the comfortable seating whilst feeling the gentle sea breeze on your skin and let the mesmerising ocean views wash over you. Whether you are mingling with your friends or seeking a quiet moment of reflection, this enchanting space is designed for pure relaxation. Next, let's take a look at the gym, conveniently located to offer guests a private space for their workouts. The gym is fully equipped with modern fitness machines, including treadmills, exercise bikes and weights, ensuring you can maintain your fitness routine while on board. The space is thoughtfully designed with inspiring views through the porthole windows, enhancing your workout experience with the scenic surroundings. Whether you are a fitness enthusiast or just looking to stay active, this gym provides everything you need for a comprehensive workout. And after a workout in the gym, where better to head to than the onboard spa? The spa is found in the bow of the vessel. As you descend into this area and emerge into this space, to your left is a welcoming reception area. The spa features elegant decor, including soothing colours and natural elements that create a tranquil environment. Here you can indulge in a range of treatments, from massages to facials, all tailored to help you unwind and rejuvenate. The experienced spa staff is dedicated to ensuring your comfort and well-being, making this the perfect sanctuary to escape the stresses of everyday life while enjoying your voyage. As we pass the elegant statue to our right, gracefully posing a traditional Thai welcoming gesture, we walk towards a unique shower area. To one side of the shower, there's a traditional bucket, presumably filled with cold water, ready for an invigorating splash. As you step into the massage room, you are welcomed by a serene and inviting space. The entrance features a beautifully designed wash area with natural wood elements and elegant decor that set the tone for relaxation. The massage room features a comfortable massage table draped in soft linens. The ambient lighting combined with warm earthly tones and natural wood elements creates a tranquil atmosphere. As we head back out into the main area, we encounter the stunning centerpiece jacuzzi. Moving to the opposite side of the spa, we find a luxurious sauna room. Now, I must admit, my wife and I have a deep appreciation for spas. We absolutely adore them. I do not think you can beat having a spa on board a super yacht, especially a charter yacht. And for me, this is one of the areas that I would definitely be visiting on a daily basis during my charter aboard Shere Khan. Now let me show you one of the double cabins on board Shere Khan. This stylish and comfortable space is perfect for couples, offering a cosy retreat with all the high-end amenities you would expect. Shere Khan's cabin configuration is designed to cater to a variety of guest needs. It features a supremely spacious full beam master suite, complete with its own study, and we will of course be checking out the master cabin shortly. There are also two VIP cabins, elegantly designed to provide the utmost luxury. In addition to the four double cabins like this one, there are six twin cabins, ideal for family and friends, each featuring single beds. In this ensuite, we have a beautifully designed space. The bathtub invites you to unwind and relax, while the modern sink and vanity area provide all the essentials with a touch of sophistication. The ensuite also features a stylishly appointed toilet and bidet, and the marble floors and natural wood add to the overall sense of elegance. Heading back out into the cabin, you will notice an area where you can set up your laptop to catch up on emails or perhaps plan your next adventure. Another thing that I love about this cabin is that it affords you direct access out onto the main deck thanks to this door located over here. Before I show you one of the twin cabins, let me first show you around another double cabin. I love the way the bed has been placed next to the load bearing posts, adding a touch of architectural charm and seamlessly blending functionality with elegant design. 
The TV in this cabin is neatly tucked away behind the cabinetry, but now let me show you around the ensuite to this elegant cabin. As you can see, we have a large shower plus his and her sinks with a vanity area. I also love the fact that this ensuite also has a jacuzzi bath and of course, great views thanks to the large porthole. As we head back out into the cabin, you get an appreciation for the amount of space you are afforded in here. Also, we have another work area where you can sit down and catch up on your emails. And once again, we see the cabinetry where the TV is hidden away. Coming up, I'm going to show you around the master cabin and of course the bridge and the engine room. But first, let us have a look around one of the twin cabins. This cabin is located forward on the starboard side of the main deck. We have a lounging area where you can sit down, relax and watch some TV or YouTube. But now let me take you into the ensuite. The beautifully appointed bathroom features a jacuzzi bathtub. The spacious double vanity offers ample room for your personal items with sleek modern features. The ensuite also includes a separate shower area, ensuring you have all the options for a refreshing experience. The use of warm wood tones and high quality materials throughout enhances the overall sense and luxury for your guests aboard this magnificent charter yacht. But what do you think of the guest accommodation aboard Shera Khan? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Next, the master cabin. From the master cabin, you can get quick and easy direct access out onto the upper deck through that door. But let me show you in here. It is absolutely stunning. As you can see, as you'd expect with the master cabin, the views are absolutely out of this world. Just look at how many windows you've got over there. Over on the starboard side, you've got a place where you can sit down and relax. Enjoy your morning coffee or your evening coffee, depending on which way you prefer. But look, even if we check out the view over here on the starboard side, you can see it is really easy to connect with your surroundings anywhere you stand in this amazing area. Nice big bed there amidships, right on the center line. We can move over here, over onto the port side, and I pan aft. You've got an area where you can sit down here, have a chat with your partner, decide what you're gonna do for the day. The TV on the bulkhead over there as well. Over here on the port side is where we find a walk-in closet. So plenty of space, plenty of room to keep everything you're gonna to wanna to take with you on your charter of a lifetime. We head aft over on the port side, you can find one of the en suites here. I mean, look at that bath, that really is spectacular. Just imagine sitting in there, enjoying that view, that big window. Head back out into the master cabin, turn around and face aft. That you can see as we walk through this door, You've got a study, an owner's study, look at that. So if you do find yourself having to catch up with some emails whilst you're away on your charter, it's a great place to do your work uninterrupted for a couple of hours, if that's what you decide you need to do whilst you're away. And of course, the master cabin also benefits from a large walk-in wardrobe. Now let's take a look at the versatile library on board Shera Khan. This elegant space filled with a collection of books and comfortable seating provides a quiet retreat for reading and relaxation. When charter guests have young children on board, the library can easily be transformed into a playroom, offering a safe and fun environment for kids to enjoy. A big thanks to the crew who looks after my kids whilst my wife and I are on board. Next, let's take a look around the large galley. As mentioned earlier in the video, my wife, children and I were treated to a fantastic meal aboard Shera Khan. The exceptionally talented head chef, who has been with Shera Khan for many years, leads a dedicated team, much of whom have also been on board for a long time. This longevity speaks volumes about the boat and how well the owners care for both their crew and their guests. As you'd expect from a luxury charter yacht of this size that can accommodate as many guests as Shera Khan, the professional galley is fully equipped with everything the head chef and his team need to cater to all dietary requirements, ensuring an exceptional culinary experience for everyone on board. 
Now let's check out the bridge. The expansive bridge features multiple conning stations, positions of port and starboard of the captain's chair, providing optimal control and maneuverability. As expected from a large explorer yacht like Shara Khan, the vessel is fully equipped with advanced navigation and communication systems, ensuring seamless long-range cruising, whether in the Mediterranean or the challenging waters of Antarctica. Having had the privilege of exploring dozens of bridges and wheelhouses of various sizes, not to mention being on board the bridges of the several warships that I served on when I was in the Royal Navy, I was particularly impressed by the thoughtful layout of Shara Khan's bridge. Every essential control is strategically placed within easy reach of the bridge team, enhancing operational efficiency and safety. Also, the bridge's design offers exceptional visibility. Unlike some bridges where wide mullions obstruct the view, Shara Khan's narrow mullions ensure unobstructed sight lines, making watchkeeping more effective and, of course, providing guests with an unparalleled vantage point to observe the ship's operations. And now for something I know many of my subscribers have been waiting for. Next, we come to this Explorer Yacht's engine room, which is huge and split over two levels. Shara Khan is powered by a single Caterpillar 3512 DITA engine. This robust engine delivers a maximum power output of 1,380 horsepower, allowing Shara Khan to cruise comfortably at 11 knots and reach a top speed of 13 knots. The engine room, as you can see, is meticulously designed to ensure efficiency and safety. It houses the vessel's main propulsion system, obviously, but also all of the auxiliary systems. The full displacement steel hull and aluminium superstructure enhance stability and performance, while the at-anchor stabilizers significantly reduce roll, providing exceptional comfort when the yacht is stationary. In addition to the main engine, the engine room contains all of the advanced control systems for monitoring and managing the yacht's operations. This includes the state-of-the-art electrical systems, fuel management and water desalination units, ensuring the vessel remains self-sufficient during long voyages. One notable feature is Shara Khan's impressive range, with fuel tanks holding up to 128,000 litres Shara Khan can cover distances up to 3,500 nautical miles without needing to refuel. This makes her ideal for extended cruising. The engine room also includes comprehensive sound insulation to minimise noise and vibration, ensuring a very quiet and extremely comfortable experience for guests on board. Regular maintenance and stringent safety protocols are of course adhered to, ensuring the engine and all related systems operate at peak performance. As we move through the engine room, you can see the high level of craftsmanship and attention to detail that goes into maintaining this vital beating heart of the yacht. The engineering team on board works tirelessly to keep everything running smoothly, ensuring that every journey on Shara Khan is both safe and enjoyable. Now I know that from the comments which are left on my videos, many of my subscribers are former marine engineers or just love the marine engineering side of Explore Yachts like Shara Khan. With this in mind, the captain and chief engineer were kind enough to fire up the engine for me. So if you want to know what a 1380 horsepower engine sounds like when it's fired up, then this is for you.
A big thanks to the chief engineer and to the captain for taking some time out of their busy schedule to fire up the main engine. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. For a long range autonomous explore yachts like Shara Khan, the capability to conduct minor repairs when hundreds of nautical miles from the nearest workshop is crucial. Shara Khan is equipped with tooling areas that rival those found in many maritime engineering workshops for sure. So thanks for joining me on board this very special yacht tour from aboard a very special boat. If you're interested in finding out more about this beautiful vessel, or if you're interested in chartering this boat, then feel free to get in contact with me. I've teamed up with TJB Super Yachts in order to make sure that you have a charter of a lifetime aboard this absolutely stunning vessel. If you want to find out more, head to the link that I'll pin in the comments and also the link in the video description. And before you go, please don't forget to give the video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you've got a boat that you'd like me to feature on my channel or if you've got access to a boat you'd like me to feature, then feel free to get in contact with me. Until next time, fair winds and following seas. I recently created a yacht tour video featuring Moti Yacht Only Now, which is also available for charter. To watch that video, simply follow the link in the description. If you're interested in chartering only now or any other motor or sailing yacht, regardless of your budget or destination, feel free to contact me. All the necessary information can be found via the link pinned in the comments. In the next couple of weeks, I'm hoping to do a podcast interview with the captain of Sherrod Khan, so make sure you don't miss that. You'll find the link to my Spotify via the link that I'll leave pinned in the comments. And also, if you are one of my channel members, I'll be uploading a video in the not too distant future showing you some of the parts of the vessel that I've visited and filmed, which haven't been shared in the main video. And that's my way of saying thank you to you, my channel members, for supporting my channel. Thank you.